Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and I hope this video gives you lots of money-making forex trading ideas. In this video we're going to be looking at the ATR indicator, the average true range indicator and how you can use it to make lots of money in the forex market. Now I would really like you to pay quite a lot of attention to the contents of this video because that is not an idle threat or a marketing phrase. This indicator has unbelievable information that it can give you. Now I'm going to introduce this indicator saying that every currency in the market has its own profile. Now I've got three, four currencies on the screen at the moment and you can see they all have different movements during the day and these bars are one hour bars, there should be 24 of them and they show how volatile currencies are during various stages of the day. Now to many they look the same but to the trained eye there are some really important differences here uh, that any trader should be aware of. For instance, this currency year has a funny one where it, it peaks at a certain time of the day. Uh, in general, if you look at these ones, you've got the Asian market over here, the UK market over here, the US market where both the UK and the US is open at the same time. That's why you have a peak there and then it, scroll, it goes right down into the quiet Asian market again. That's a normal type of movement, but as you can see, there are some currencies that are different. For instance, here you've got a currency that's got the same level of volatility in the Asian market as it has in the UK market, even more. Then you have ones that show the, show the same. Some have one peak in the U, US market, others have two peaks, and some don't go down as much as others during the roll down to the Asian market. So each one has its own little personality and you need to be aware of it. Now the ATR is a fantastic tool to give you an idea of the personality of each particular currency. Now how do you load this particular indicator? And you go to MT4, you go to the indicator icon, click on it, you select oscillators. Now oscillator is one where something goes either oversold and overbought and oversold and overbought so it oscillates from high to low and the true range indicator does the same but it doesn't it uses high volatility and low volatility, high volatility and low volatility as its oscillation. So uh, you then select the average two range, the ATR indicator. That's how you load it. And uh, I'm not going to go into it into a lot of detail because it's a very, very simple indicator to understand. Now I'm going to explain it to you from a daily perspective. If you want to know what the average daily movement is, for instance, for the euro, what you could do is you could look at the range, in other words, the size of the candle, a daily candle, the high to the low. You can measure that for the last, let's say, 20 days, and you could then get an average for the last month's trading month by adding them together and averaging them out. And that would be the daily average to range of the currency that you're measuring. So all it does is averages the range, and I like to think of them as candles. It's not 100% correct, but it's close enough to be correct. The, the, the candle sizes that you're looking backwards on. So I've explained to you, you can do that on a daily basis, but you can also look, go down to the one minute candle and you can say, what are the sizes of the one man, minute candles in the last 50 candles? And you, and you would then go to the input screen and you would put 50 as the period because you want, want to look back 50 candles and it will then bring out the indicator showing you the average over that particular period. So that's how, uh, that's how this one works. It's very easy. It's basically showing you the volatility of the currency over a period of time measured by what I say is the candle size and that's good enough for you to understand what it means. Uh, and also very important to understand this, this measurement. It is a measurement of volatility. It does not help you with direction of trade. So if we look at this chart that MT4 provides, it is saying, okay, there's an air at a time of low volatility, low, and then it shoots up that you can actually see it on the chart. It shoots up high 
and then as it gets high it starts consolidating and starts going low and then when it's low mm -hmm. it shoots up again and so it's it uh, it gives you the high volatility times and the low volatility times um, when and in general when it's high it's likely to slow down and when it's low it's likely to explode so it's, it's, it provides uh, information for explosive moves and also for consolidation moves in the market so the ATR helps you compare the volatility of different currencies compared to each other and I'll show you a good example of that and the ATR helps you to compare the volatility of a one currency at various times of the day and you can make money, you can make money from this so let's ha let's have a look so on your screen you can see the 360 degree forex indicator that we've upgraded just recently and it really gives you a view of the whole market based on a number of indicators a whole host of indicators you can see there uh, how e every single uh, currency compares on every single time frame for every uh, for for most of the major indicators and you can also see the relative strength of each currency so it, it is really a 360 degree indicator in that you can see the whole market in one go but what we're interested in today is we interested in the ATR so what I've done is I just folded literally folded away all the others hit hit the ones I'm not interested in and now I'm only looking at the ATR and I'm looking at about 27 or so currencies I'm looking at all the time frames that we'd look at but I, I don't really use the shorter time frames I use the sort of daily four hour ones mainly but let's let's get into this right away so how does this help you firstly it tells you which currencies are the most volatile currencies in the market and which ones are the least volatile so I've sorted the daily column you can see I've sorted it and the euro euro pound is the least volatile currency because it only moves on average and this is strictly you must understand it's an averaging indicator on average it only moves 42 pips a day whereas the pound New Zealand moves 174 pips a day it's four times more volatile than the euro pound now and then it's uh, as you can see it's sorted all the um, currencies in, in in order so what how does that help you in any way well firstly if you're a breakout trader or a trend trader you're looking for the fast moves that really move in the market you should be using these currencies at the top here if you use using sideway techniques that dawdle in the market then you should be using these currencies down here that's one way of using that information the other thing is use it to determine what targets and stops you, you you need for instance if you're trading the euro pound you shouldn't have a 200 pip stop or a 200 pip target the the the, the, pound, the, the euro pound hardly moves in a day but if you're using the pound New Zealand, it's most probably okay to have 150 pip stop and 150 pip target. So you can size your targets and your stop losses according to the volatility of the particular currency. And this is important not only for manual trading, but it's also important for expert advisor or forex robot trading. You need to know the currencies and you need to apply the appropriate settings for those particular currency now and I affectionately call this my vibration rate of a currency because it shows you how much it vibrates on a daily basis or on a four hour basis uh, you can get an idea of that type of thing I'm up now here I've got a the indicator loaded on a one hour time frame and uh, uh, the default setting is 14 so I've stuck with that but every the, the uh, every column here is a day every column here is a day now if you lo look at this in this very carefully you will see that this currency peaks at the same time every day and goes to the low point at the same time every day so you go peaks in the middle low point at the end peaks in the middle low point at the end peaks in the middle low point at the end peaks in the middle low point at the end Peaks in the middle, low point at the end. Peaks in the middle, low point. Now, I promise you, that kind of information is gold. 
in the right traders hands you can make a lot of money knowing that you can virtually spot the high and the low for this currency every day so this kind of pattern is what forex traders look for when they for trading forex i'll leave it to you to work out how to use this information but this is the kind of information that the atr provides as i said it's gold in the right hand now one thing i just need to make you aware of that sometimes uh, uh price charts have five trading days and sometimes they have six trading days so the broker trades a portion of the saturday or a portion of the sunday and that sometimes distorts some of the readings that you will get when using this indicator but it's not serious i'm just making you aware of it now you can see quite and i'm going to just run you, you, there's a small candle so that's likely to be a saturday candle so you go saturday Let's go one two three four five and then you get another small candle one two oh, started with, uh, there's a small candle there let's go to another small there's a small one one two three four five there's another small. so 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 there's gaps of five between the small ones which shows you that the information that is collected on a saturday can distort the the readings on the atr so you might find one trader has different atr readings to another trader because of the break the broker policies regarding five days and six days and also in certain cases the the cutoff points of the candles but that's not serious because if you on your own are applying this consistently you're more interested in the differences between the, your own currencies and not other people's charts just just a bit of information for you all right so what does the ati help you with firstly it helps you decide which currencies are good breakout currencies and trending currency for, for instance for instance we have a technique called the double in a day technique uh, it's a technique where you can double your forex trading account in one day on one trade now it, it, it makes common sense that if you're using that technique you want a volatile currency that will trend quickly during that particular day so you'll be selecting from the very top of this one and that will provide you with a trend that will double your account in one day you won't go down here and try and double your account you, you know I, I see people trying to double their account using the euro for instance it only moves 60 pips a day it's not going to do the job the, the the currency that we find does the job best is the pound yen and, and that kind of thing but this is these tables are very important for that kind of thing and using the shorter time frame charts it tells you when a currency is likely to move with more volatility and when it is likely to rest and trade sideways now i've shown you that example too there we are remember this example where every day was virtually exactly the same turning point for this particular currency and it will also help you size your targets and stops for manual and ea trading so in other words uh, 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 low volatility currencies smaller stops smaller targets high volatility currencies bigger stops bigger targets now i really hope i've given you some ideas and some perspectives of the forex market the atr is really a good e indicator that can give you the information that you need to really trade it more efficiently than you did in the past the atr itself does not give trading signals but the information that it provides is critical for you to make a lot of money in the forex market thanks for watching this video if you've liked it please give it a like if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and click the bell but most importantly share this video you can do this in many ways message your friends send them emails or share it on social media on facebook on twitter and those kind of places so from me alex employee cheerio